Welcome to the shed. I'm Sid, Mackie's on the camera. And today we are going to be learning three different ways to center mountain bike disc brakes and keep your brakes from rubbing. Okay, this is a lot better than it was a second ago. For this task, you are gonna need the correct sized Allen key, a piece of paper, scissors, brake cleaner, blue shop towel, and this thingamajig. What is this? <laughs> that is a rotor straightening tool. That's like highly specific. You, you can also use an adjustable it. wrench. Okay. Or sometimes just your hands. But we have all the tools, so we have a rotor straightening tool and a cat. Okay, so here we have a wheel. What are we doing? Yes, we do. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> More coffee, please. Here we have a brake that is doing something that is very common problem. As you can tell, you can hear it hitting, rubbing the pads, and it's obviously providing a lot of resistance because this wheel is just stopping. So you don't want that to be happening. If you've been riding and you hear that, or sometimes it's like zing, 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 zing. Yeah, yeah. That's... If you hear that and you are riding disc brakes, it probably means that your brakes are not centered. So let's fix it. This is the easiest way. We're gonna start with this. This usually works. We're gonna loosen these bolts. As you can see, the caliper can move. That's what you want. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel. And then since this is the front brake, I'm just gonna reach up and Grab that bright. Now I'm gonna hold that while I tighten this down. And this works because that's your cue. <laughs> <laughs> this works because she doesn't know why this works. Well, okay, I mean, let me, let me guess. Okay. You're holding the brake down so it's already clamped on the rotor. So presumably it's clamped in like a centered-y kind of way. And so then the, you're tightening it there. So then when it releases, it releases the same amount in either direction. That's the idea is that if you're brake is working properly, then both sides of the caliper are moving evenly. So when you let go, that should, let's see. Perfect. You got a little, just a little rub in one spot. So that might mean that the rotor is not entirely straight. Oh uh, yeah, you can hear the rub there. But you can tell this is way less resistance. If your brakes are not working properly, this will not necessarily work. Like if you have a stuck piston on one side, we are not gonna cover a stuck piston this one. That'll be a different video. This is just a very straightforward, simple brake centering. So if that works, great, you are good to go. If it doesn't work, we're gonna try a different method. Method number two, if that first method didn't work, uses a piece of paper and scissors. The scissors are just to cut the piece of paper. You want a fairly thin piece and you probably want it about a third that size. Well, let's make this one into a cat toy. Hey, check. Hey, check. Go get it. <laughs> Not a very good cat toy. So you probably want it about an inch wide and maybe two to three inches long. You want to fold that piece of paper in half along the long side. Hot dog. Hot dog. Sure. Did you not do that in elementary school? You fold a hot dog or hamburger? No. <laughs> this is hot dog. Oh, that makes perfect sense. That's brilliant. Someone please tell me in the comments that I'm not the only person that learned that. <laughs> fold it, hot, hot dog. dog. <laughs> Got it. So the first thing you're going to do is loosen your caliper and then you want to put that piece of paper folded on your rotor and it should be inside the caliper. So sometimes you'll have to take the caliper all the way off, which I'm hoping we won't have to do. I'm hoping you can just kind of slide it in there. No, nah, it's getting all folded. Is it? Yeah. Uh-oh. Why don't you just go ahead and pull the caliper off? This is why the other method is better. I'm gonna slide this in there. I would put it on the rotor. I hate this. Okay, did we do it? So. Wow, that went better than I thought. And you can see from this side, piece of paper sticking out. What Sid's gonna do is tighten those down, not all the way so that they're a little okay. bit loose, sort of like the previous time, so that the caliper can move if it needs to. Okay, now pull the brake, front brake again. Okay, if you spin it, or no, I nope. guess not, because Yeah, because you don't want to lose the paper. So just pull the front brake and then tighten them back up, just like you did previously. And this is better or just works for more? It helps create space on both sides because you basically get the width it's of the true. paper. And that's what you, that's what you want, I guess. So now hold the paper as you spin the wheel because that'll help pull it out. Go ahead and pull the brake a couple of times now and just pump it a couple of times. Okay, now spin it. 
That sounds pretty good. pretty good. Yeah. Wow, look at this thing, it's still spinning. I know, this is great. Cool. Now, assuming neither of those two methods worked, which obviously they did, your third method is to manually center the brake. That sounds like a pain in the butt. It's definitely a pain in the butt, but I have had to do it many Still times. Going. Yeah, this obviously worked well. Hopefully one of those two will work for you. If not, what you're going to do is go ahead and loosen the caliper bolts again. Also guys, quick safety note here. When your wheel is spinning, do not put your fingers near the rotor. Or in the wheel. In the spoke is bad, but near the rotor is really bad. Wouldn't, that, won't it cut off your fingers if you stick it in the wheel? It would have to be going a lot faster than that. So my dad told me what happened when I was a kid, when I was watching him did. work on bikes. He was like, yeah, people lose fingers like that all the time. <laughs> I'm sure he did. You want out? You done? There you go. Classic. I don't want to go out moves. anymore, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. This unfortunately is the hardest method to describe. Basically, you're going to look in your caliper where you can see your rotor and you're going to line it up manually so that there is space on both sides. And sometimes looking from the back there works. I found a lot of time looking from the top this. here. Okay, as you guys can see over on the right side here is a little bit of space and the left side doesn't have any space and that's our right and left. So what Sid's gonna do is just manually look down through the caliper and figure out how to get those centered. I have a feeling this is not gonna go nearly as well for me as the other methods, but I guess you could do it if it didn't work the other way. Like, why wouldn't it work the other way? Sometimes the other method just doesn't work. And if it doesn't, then sometimes you have to do it manually. No, it actually doesn't look terrible. Okay. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so what I found works well is tighten it up and then see how it feels. Okay, that's a lot better than it was a second ago. Better. So now what you want to do is try to figure out which side it is that it's rubbing on. And if it's more at the top or at the bottom. It's rubbing on that side. On the right side, more at the top or more at the bottom? It's hard to tell, but I kind of think more at the bottom. Okay, in that case, loosen the bottom one okay. and try to just slide the bottom one over till it's centered. This is stupid. You're just lucky because oh, the previous method worked so well. I thought it was skill. You're just so skilled that the previous method worked well. <laughs> That's, that's pretty good. That's really good. And at this point, obviously the rotor is a little bit bent. Yeah, because it's, it's just only... when it's only hitting on one spot like that. So find out what that spot is. I think it's like right here. Got my rotor bender majiggy. And you know where your spot was? Rubbing on that side, so I need to like put it in and pull towards me, right? And you just want to do it the tiniest little bit. And so look at the rotor bender majiggy, as you call it. Yeah. That's if you need to do a, a bend that goes all the way through. That little thing at the top is if you need to just bend the very top of it. That made it worse. Easy to do. See if it's rubbing on the same side. It might be rubbing on the opposite side now. Seems like it's right in here. That sounds pretty good to me. So you can do this with a wrench. I mean, you just do the same thing. This is obviously like a little bit more precise and more gentle on your rotors. You can also do it with your fingers. You can just like push the rotor back and forth. Especially if, you're, if your rotor is super bent and you're out on the trail, like you can bend it back with your hands enough to the point where like it might be rubbing, but you can ride. The thing to be aware of there is rotors heat up a lot when you're braking. So if you notice it after a descent, Wait until your rotors cool down or you will be really sad. So you can sad. spray some water on it and if it goes don't touch it. Which is a good like yeah. rule for life. If it's going like don't it might be a it. snake, it might be a cat, it might be a hot pan, don't touch it. Now that we have touched our rotors a bunch, we should clean them. we're gonna clean them off. And that's where the final two things come in. We did a video a year ago or so, and people like absolutely lost their minds because we were touching the rotors, but guess what? You can touch your rotors all you want, and then you just clean them. 
And honestly, they heat up so much that usually you don't even have to do that, but it's generally better too. Touch the brake pad up. <laughs> I was just gonna say, why don't you put the towel behind the rotor, the rotor. Okay. to spray? <laughs> Sorry. There you go. And here's how to center your brakes in one minute. Loosen the brake mount bolts until the caliper can move. Spin the wheel, pull and hold the brake lever. Without releasing the lever, tighten the bolts. If that doesn't work, re-loosen the bolts, cut out a one by two inch piece of paper and fold the paper hot dog style. Place the paper on the rotor inside the caliper. You may have to fully remove the caliper. Pull and hold the brake lever and tighten the bolts, then remove the paper. If that still doesn't work, loosen the bolts and manually align the caliper so that there's space on both sides of the rotor. Tighten the bolts, pull the lever a couple of times, then release and spin the wheel to check. If you hear a pinging noise in one spot, figure out which side is rubbing and where the rotor is bent by looking through the caliper and spinning the wheel. Once you've found the spot, use a rotor straightening tool, adjustable wrench, or your fingers to lightly bend the rotor in the opposite direction. Once you've finished, use brake cleaner and a shop towel to clean the rotor.